we've had a lot of videos that have uh, dealt with uh, information or knowledge that's been very closely related, but uh, sometimes it's important to go over things in a very simplistic manner so that we can summarize it uh, and we're able to digest it a little better um, by taking a slower approach to it. So we're going to deal with the word informant and what's interesting about the word informant, it occurs on a document that starts the entire process that occurs in your life in the world of civil. And we have to remember that the word civil means pagan. So the society that you live in right now is a pagan society. Do not misunderstand or try to believe that they are the kingdom of God. They are not. That's why we pray for God's kingdom to come. Even though your belief in Christianity has Christ as the supreme sovereign, you are working under pagan uh, domination right now in the world that you exist and therefore you are a believer in amongst unbelievers. So the beginning document that starts this whole process in what I call the ignorant, those that do not understand not only God's law, but they do not understand man's law, <clears throat> begin on a document we call the Statement of Birth Record. And a statement is really like an accusation or something brought forward. So when we look at the word informant, which is a word that even occurs on the birth records, it occurs at least in the ones in Ontario, Canada, I'd be highly surprised that this format across democracy in general uh, would not be occurring in somewhat of a unification. So the, uh, the word informant defined in uh, the Oxford's Dictionary. Now we have an Oxford in front where there's a magnifying glass. You may be just making out the video. The Oxford is a 22 volume set. And I know as I went to school, I did not have access to 22 volumes of the Oxford Dictionary. Had I probably had access and had someone directing me to really research the words, I'd probably be at a better, uh, I would say, level of understanding or comprehension of what's going on around us. But the compact edition, uh, which we do have access to, has a wealth of invaluable comprehension of the words. And so what you say is going to have a lot of effect. So the word informant being a key word that we're dealing with on this statement of birth record, is what the parents are identified as being. The parents are identified as an informant. Now it's varied from some years, but generally the most recent, which would be the ones that I filled out at one time on my children, said informant. Mother, father, and of course another informant was even, there was an available line in case there was three people willing to sign to certify the accusation against the child. Now, most people would not believe that could be because they haven't done any research. They're walking blindly, they're walking ignorantly, and ignorance is no excuse in the eyes of God's law, and it's no excuse in the eyes of man's law, because both will require a penalty if we don't wake up. Now, the word informant, defined in Oxford's dictionary, Law, one who lays an information against a person. When we go to the Black's Law Dictionary, Black's Law, 4th uh, edition, and I'm sure it's in many of the other editions, under common informant. So I'm just, sorry, it's under informant. I actually opened up to the wrong page. It would be under informant. It's actually under informer. An informer is a person who informs or prefers an accusation against another, whom he suspects of the violation of some penal statute. Common informer. A common prosecutor. A person who habitually ferrets out, that'd be like weaseling out, crimes and offenses, and lays information thereof before the ministers of justice in order to set a prosecution on foot. Not because of his office 
or any special duty in the matter, but for the sake of the share of the fine or penalty which the law allots to the informer in certain cases. Interestingly, they're telling you that the real main reason why the informer is there or the prosecutor to prosecute you in a court of law is because of the money he gets paid. He gets to share in the bounty on the money for you being arrested, arraigned, processed, and a fee or a charge laid upon you. If we understand the word surname, we'll understand it means the word debtor, it means evil one, nickname, there's many things associated with it, Gentile, one who has no covenant with the true God, so that means you wouldn't have the pardon of Christ, you'd be part of the law, those that deny Christ and therefore are going to be judged under the law, therefore you'd be a debtor, you would, could not be a creditor. <clears throat> so... Our usage of words is extremely important. Occurs on the statement of birth record, what we had just discussed. Because you didn't see it, because you didn't know about it, it requires your due diligence to educate yourself to take the time, unless your life doesn't mean anything. If your life is invaluable, timeless, what has been gifted by God, with a covenant that's awaiting you under a promise for only those that believe, you'll take the time. If you don't care and you want to be just as those that were at the time of Noah, who took no note until the flood came and swept them all away, and they drowned in debt of not understanding what God required of them to enter the ark, the ark of life, well then you will not enter the book of life, you will be in the book of the dead. And right now, 99.999% .999 of the population has literally witnessed against themselves have registered themselves into a book of debt, a book of sin, of which the actual penalty, the final penalty of this is about to be called in. So we need to take the time to learn the words because only truth can set you free.